Good morning, all. Good morning. This is Spirit Journey. Today is Friday, January 15, 2021. And I'm bright eyed and bushy tail today. Yes, I'm just opening up my eyes. The time is now about 4.53 a.m. in the morning. And you are looking at the beautiful Manhattan skyline. Well, this is going to be a, a brief video. want to get down a vision that I saw this morning. Boy, I'm seeing a lot of stuff. And the visions are coming more quicker. And so it's hard for me to recall. But I'll say what I could remember. At one point, I was seeing those, these little floating things. Those are, they have prickly um, branches from them. Uh, the the shape of them um, had like an um, off round shape. It wasn't perfectly round, uh, and there was a a series of them. Just seems as if they're floating about, but they have those branches inside them. Uh, so imagine a a a skinny branch, a little twig-like, but on them are little spikes. These spikes could be uh, the, the, the straight spikes. And they could be about maybe two inches, two, three, maybe three inches long. I see these all the time. Now they have like a, the general shape of all uh, of the collective of them is uh, an off round shape, and I know when I see them that you're going to be seeing some other type of image, and that is what happened. So after seeing those little things floating about. Again, my eyes, for those of you who are new to my vision series, upon waking up in the morning from, you know, a deep sleep or dreaming, I keep my eyes closed and I just continue to relax my body. I'm f in full awareness. And it seems like when you keep your eyes closed, and if you can keep a light closure of the eyes, the better. And the, my room is dark right now, as you see. Keep my eyes closed, relax the body. And then shortly after, upon awakening up, I start to see images. Sometimes they could be still images or I'm actually seeing something, uh, it seems as if it's live, like it's uh, so, like so movement. You see things moving. So today, after seeing the little prickly things, I saw, it reminded me of a map. And it, this image appeared on my type, top right quadrant of my vision. Usually it's on the top uh, right bottom. But this was situated on the top right quadrant of my sight, even though my eyes are closed. And it looked like a map. It, I, again, I, again, I don't know what this map is. But it reminded me of the shape of a country. 
the, the country of France, that type of boxy shape. And it's on like a white, like it had a white background, a white background. And then you see the outline of something. And it reminded me of the shape of the country of France, something like that. Again, I don't know what it was, but it just reminded me, the shape reminded me of. So it's like a squarish type shape. Um, and within the outer boundaries were straight lines, you know, like, like, like it's carved out into maybe districts or counties, whatever what they, what it signified. But it was, uh, had the lines to designate some type of different regions, tiny, tiny regions. And then I noticed, okay, so I continued staring, trying to stay as relaxed as possible, because that helps to see more. So sometimes it gets clearer if I really focus on it, and it starts to get clearer. And so how it started to get more defined is that now the white background now turned yellow almost like a canary yellow and one, uh, several of the quadrants below this thing uh, was red and then the whole thing uh, lifted up and disappeared from my view and that's what I saw today primarily what I could remember but I also remember uh, from some other session I had, and since I can remember that, <laughs> so, um, I remember seeing it looked like a, a broad window, a very broad, win big window. And I remember seeing uh, trees all up in front of the view of, of, the, of the window. And it seemed as as if it has a like a a filter that makes it blur. It, it was very flat looking, the whole view, as if like a a, a panel of glass, like a uh, a, a a glass panel that you could you could see through, but it's a foggy or hazy. So you cannot see clearly the other side, but it had a very flat appearance, the image. And I noticed other things that I could remember with recent visions, that it now it seems like I'm seeing like a pre-screening of something, like a series of, I, I call them symbols, but again, I don't know what they are, but they're like... Um, little small um, drawing it, it's because it's um very flat it looks like it's on uh, a flat plane like uh, drawings and there it's a it's a it's a bright white background and yes that's my little doggy my little lilac she's snoring yeah <laughs> i apologize for that yeah but yes, um, it's it's on flat white paper, very flat, and they're drawings, little little tiny drawings of something, little shapes. But it seems almost like okay, they they're maybe very, very cubal in shape, small. Uh, an inch or a little smaller than an maybe uh, from an inch to a half an inch in diameter and um they're they're in rows and columns that they're, they're not touching each other and it, but it's pretty though little the simple little shapes that like outlined of something and 
something drawing inside each of the little shapes. Very simple. And I remember seeing little shiny, sparkly, like foil, little tiny bits of foil. It was very attractive. Very, very simple, but uh, nicely arranged. Um, I'm wondering what those things symbolize. Um, I'm thinking that when I'm seeing that it's it's commu- something is communicating with me. Because oftentimes, once I see that, that's usually the first thing I start to see now. And then that changes, and then I see an image. And I take that as that the initial thing I'm seeing represents the object I'm going to be seeing, almost like it's a language. You know, for those of you who've made like a, let's say, a website, I've done this once before. And when you're making a website, um, it's, it, it's all a language for you to see anything. Let's say I, uh, you take a picture of something and you want to upload it to the website. Well, they have another screen that you, it's the computer language itself. Uh, about, let's say, the dimensions of it, the, the written explanation of it. And it's in code. If you don't have a computer background, you don't know what those written words mean, the codes. Uh, I'll explain what color the object is. Everything, everything, everything is a program everything. And I'm thinking, oh yeah, so you can look at when you add a website, and if you're the creator of it, and you're making it for the first time, you could look at the website in different levels. You you could look at the object in its bare computer language form. You could look at it in the outcome, what it looks like. And I think it's a third way you can look at it. But everything. And so that's what life is, is like. You, you can look at life in different levels. The computer language level. The actual, you know, the, the final product, what you want people to see. And I think that actually a third way to look at it. But yeah, that's what it reminds me of. Even though... I'm not seeing, you know, when I when I made a website before, uh, I didn't see those little shapes. But I'm thinking, like, because, see, I remember about when you make a website and you could, as the creator of a website, from the ground up, you could look at it in different levels. Because I guess depending upon your expertise, whether or you want to, tweak it a little bit, you you could go into the, the program level with the words or whatever. Uh, uh, let's say it says blue, you can say it's red or green. You know, you could tweak it a little bit to uh, alter specific aspects of it. Maybe the dimensions of something, you could just tweak it a little bit. Or let's say um, if you want it centered rather than fleshed to the right or left. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm believing now because, see, the mind is creative. And I believe what I'm seeing is being um, generated or, let's say, picked up by the right hemisphere of my brain. Your brain is only a receptor. Your brain stores nothing. But for whatever reason, in my meditation, I am able to now pick up certain things. And now, in my visioning, 
I'm seeing these new shapes, these like the prelude of the objects I'm going to be seeing. And what's interesting that um, in comparison, see, I first started doing the uh, what you call meditation. Uh, I first started doing meditation for the first time in April of oh, 2014. Yes, April of 2014, I started seeing this. So that's... Um, Six years now. About, what's that, six? Let's see, 14. Oh, I'm sorry. This year would be seven years. This April would be seven. Wow. <laughs> Can't believe it. How time flies. Yeah, I started doing it in 2014. And back then, the symbols were different. Uh one of my very, let's see, uh, it could have been my very first session or my second session, but it was very soon in my sessions of meditation. And that particular meditation was not the early morning meditation. It was um, a formal, what I call a formal meditation, where I'm sitting at a uh, my coffee t table that I set up like an altar. I am sitting on the floor, uh, sitting Indian style, as they say. And I probably have my candle, candle lit, incense lit, you know? That's what I call like my formal meditation. And I could have been sitting there for maybe an hour and I started seeing things. And the symbol, again, I call it a symbol, um, they were geometric shapes. These long, squiggly lines. Um, they, they, were, they, were, they were rows of lines that ran um, horizontally uh, each of the rows was approximately um, a quarter of an inch wide. There were, you know, black lines that divided uh, divided these uh, shapes, these the, these long lines, and it's they're squiggly, squiggly lines like a snake. And uh, again, there were about a quarter, um, the space in between was, was about, a, as I said, a quarter of an inch, and it had a black, oh, um, and then they're sectioned off into, uh, so the, 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 the length of, of, of each little piece was approximately one inch uh, wide segments. So again, the width is about a quarter of an inch, and the length of it was about an inch. And in the center of each of these little sections was a little black dot, tiny little dot. And the colors were red and green, I remember, yeah. I don't understand now uh, how each segment was red and green but they were red, but I saw red and green, you know. Uh, and why I say it like that, I don't know how it could be both red and green, because, like, was it, like, cut in half, uh, you know, the width cut in half, the, the segments, and one side red, the other side green, but I don't remember it like that. <laughs> but I saw red and green. And they were moving. Like like a wave, like an like like the currents of water flowing. Imagine if um, if if let's say heat heat wave if heat could be seen and it run like a river, right? 
it's, and it's drawing like that. It was, and it was moving like like a wave, like an ocean, like the uh, like the current, like moving forward very gracefully. So you see the colors, red and green, the long narrow segments, like like a snake, in, in sectioned off. You know, in little inch segments with a little dot in the center. Now I saw that for a while. You know, other um, other meditation sessions, and then they slowly changed to. I saw these um, round balls that were like hung from the ceiling. Um, it looked like glass balls. Glass. You could see through it. Uh, but they, they seem to be, you know, had light illuminating from it. And they're all different size, small, medium, large, just um, in no special order, all mixed in together. Uh, they, they were dangling vertically, these balls. Yeah, so I see that it, it, that those type of things, and, and it, it, it didn't do anything. It was just there. So, and then um, I stopped seeing those uh, shapes. And then that's when I uh, started to see images. And one of the first real images I saw, well, actually, let me back up a little bit. The very, very first, uh, um, sh you know, uh, non-shape, but, you know, like a, a person or place. It was a, a person's face. I saw a man's face. Yeah, that was my first uh, vision. I saw the little squiggly lines that I, that I discussed, and then I saw a man's face, just the face, um, Caucasian, very angular, this, his features. Very, um, he looks like this actor. No, he's not this actor, <laughs> but, um, oh, what's his name? He's la Oh, what's his name? Bloom. His last name is Bloom. And um, he he does the the uh, movies with um, Johnny Depp. You know the 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 pirate series. The actor's last name is Bloom. And has his face that that shape. His face is very angular. Very, you know, the nose is very narrow, the very prominent cheekbones, uh, a s small frame. Again, I'm only seeing his face. He was brunette also, the, the image that I saw. Um, and it was a, a weird color, like, um, like, like if you look at something with um, infrared uh, lenses, you know, night vision, how it has a weird color to it. It was something like that. Can't tell whether it was a greenish yellow or a yellowish green. It was p a pale color. And uh, he looked very distinguished looking. And I, my, my, I just feel my, my impression, again I, I, again, I don't know who this person is, but my impression was that he's someone from the 1800s, Yeah, 1800s, I think, or very, very early 1900s. But again, my impression is more 1800 of some type. Uh, European type, very, very European. Yeah, handsome dude. Uh, didn't say anything, it was just a face. Uh, no, no expression. And that was it. So... Yeah, I, I, I believe, why I mention all these things? See, I want to sh also so, show contrast and development of when I'm seeing uh, what I initially saw uh, almost seven years ago and compared to what I'm seeing now, uh, those geometric shapes, you know, comparing the two. And that I believe is going to be a new phase to my uh, visions, that my early morning visions that I'm seeing. 
Yeah, because it's getting more um, just a, a pretty. Uh, the, the, again, the, the, the symbols, what I call symbols of now with the, the little box shapes. It, it's, it's, it's so simply drawn, so simple, but really pretty in my opinion. That is going to be another phase because it's a completely different personality to the drawings. Like, um, I do have a slight, or you know, have an art background. I'm not the best artist, but I do have some art training. And when you're in a, an art school and you compare the art of the other students, y your artwork is your personality. Everybody has their own style. There's no right or wrong way of drawing. Y it's you. You're expressing yourself, your mood, everything. And you can tell who drew what. Because everybody has their own style. And that's what I'm seeing. And so if this is a prelude to something, these new symbols, that is signifying to me that I will be seeing new things. I'm excited, actually. Very, very excited. Because I'm very eager to see other stuff. So it's interesting here, we're going to have an inauguration soon. Yes, unfortunate <laughs> inauguration of somebody. But yes, it, again, it's a new phase. So it's a new phase in our government that will be enacted. And a new phase, I think, in um, what visions I will be seeing, whether it's going to be uh, a flat image or something uh, like a movie, you know, something like a video? Or will it be like, because I have shared that I saw, in my opinion, it looked like a security camera that I'm seeing through. Because the, the angle it was uh, situated above a doorway and you could see it was that that one really really shocked me yeah i shared this before this was i think in 2019 or or 2020 i forget it was early in the year if it was 2020 or in 2019 whereby um i saw uh the, the, there was a, a a woman a young woman Slender, wearing it like a trench coat. Yeah, I think. Um, yes, it was uh, in twenty nineteen, in the f in the like fall. Yeah, because uh, the the trees and everything was the the ground looked very bare. You know, like the seasons changing. Yeah. Yeah, it's a late um, twenty nineteen. Uh, it was daytime. And uh, there was a, a tiny person, I, I presume it was a child, half the size of the woman, also slender, uh, lo loose clothing, uh, lo loose, loose, it was a, a long coat, light color, everything, was, they were in light colors, you know. And they were standing in front of an object, uh, it, some type of, looked like a, a rock or something. <laughs> some type of massive boulder and surrounding it was like a railing a you know hand, hand railing you know like when you go into the museum they have a railing um about maybe two feet surrounding the object or the you know the artifact whatever to, to keep a distance and it was like that and they're just staring at it and Actually, pr prior to that vision, prior to seeing the, the couple, you know, the two people that look like the mommy figure and the little child, there was another uh, a monument. It, it, it was uh, big. It, it, um, it's, it was about maybe a yard in diameter, in length. Uh, and maybe a yard in height. It was massive. 
and on the surface top was flat, and there was a writing on it. It had a, a, a name or a, one, or a word uh, that was chiseled into it, but I could not read the name. I was not fast enough to process what the name was. Uh, um, it had some length to the name. And then you see the lady and the child. And then the, the seeing the lady and child was at a distance. Maybe it, it seemed as if uh, they could have been maybe, oh, wow, they was considerably uh, far away. Um, let's just say 80 feet away. And it seemed as though I'm up at a tree, you know, at a tree, tree view, a tall tree. Maybe, maybe even 80 feet up in the air. So 80 feet, let's say, distant, and then elevated up in the air, and maybe another 80 feet. So it's a quite, it's quite a distance. But I'm watching this, and it seemed very flat. What I'm, what I'm seeing, like a, like as if I'm looking, uh, at a screen. You know, like a security camera. You know, and. They start to walk towards me. You know, they, they, they walk on the ground. And then lo and behold, I see a man. The man is just a couple of feet away from what's picking up the, 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 the scene. Let's say the camera. Let's say there's a physical, because I believe it was a camera that's, that's taken the picture. And he's standing below the camera, but just a couple of feet away. He's close by, where whatever was picking up the image. And he was a, um, could have been in his 40s, 50s, kind of chubby. You know, he had, you know, a little, little round, roundish build, uh, wearing a, a trench coat, open, I think a white shirt. Caucasian man. Yeah, just wearing casual clothes. And he's waiting for the lady and and the, the kid. What I what looked like it could be the kid. And they're walking towards him. And then they meet together, right near the where the camera would have been. And then you know he's waiting for her. And then when she arrives where he's standing, and then they walk off together, past the camera. I kid you not. And that's what I saw. And then and then I didn't see anything else. So very interesting. That that was interesting because I'm actually seeing a live something that's you know whether it was a, a video of something. Am I living in a parallel world? I don't know any of these people. Never seen them before. I I uh, it's a an outdoor scene like like a little park. Let, let's it looked like. As if it's a little, like a, a park. Uh, had trees, grass. The grass looked, you know, kind of, you know, you know, when the weather starts to get cooler, it's kind of like bare looking. But it was there, you know. And the colors weren't sharp either. A little drab in color. Like like in security cam, it has that washed out look, and that's why I think this is like a security. Like I'm watching through a a camera, an actual camera, and then they meet up and then they walk past. So am I being lo am, am I am I living in a parallel world? And I'm a security guard or something. At some facility, and it's a grounds somewhere, you know, a, a grounds, and then they had that uh, artifact, some type of, uh, some, I think it's, it's like a monument, it's, it's, it's representing something. If any of you who could possibly know of anything uh, like this, it, it looked like it was in the, you know, some Western world, whether it be the U.S. or Europe, you know, it's not like Africa, it, I didn't get that feel. You know, the, the people were clearly white people, what we call white people, Caucasians. Um, modern, they were modern clothes. Um, 
Yeah, because I remember now when I saw it, the weather was getting cooler. You know, so there's still leaves on the trees. It, yeah, it, oh, it seemed like there was the current weather. And some of the things I saw th uh, last year, late last year in 2020, uh, also was in the current weather or season, I should say, the current season at the time. So it just seems that everything is happening current. Oh, you know, and, and again, I could be wrong. Maybe this is something in the past or whatever. And that was the daytime. And what I was seeing was uh, it could have, you know, um, was it daylight? I mean, you know, usually... Um, when I wake up, it's still night outside. You know, uh, does you know the, the light is not outside. Like right now, <laughs> it's still dark outside, even though it's uh, after five in the morning. Yeah, so this is very interesting. Yeah, anybody who has an idea of of, of the location, okay, a, a, some type of park, a a big stone or something and it has a railing. The railing is a waist height. You know, the height of your waist, you know, an adult's waist. And it was round. Uh, the, the, the railing was perfectly round, you know, encircled the object. Some massive stone or something like that. Uh, you know, the, the, the stone was sh shorter than a person, you know. But it was it was big, and it just had a a solemn feel to it. To me, solemn. Kind of kind of sad. Just had a a low energy feel to it. Yeah, and again, it's outdoors. There was trees behind her. Uh, and but she's standing on the grass. And it had, it, had, it had a building, I'm pretty sure of it, that what they walked into was where a building was. Again, you do not see the building because the camera is right there taking the picture, and then you don't see them. And you, 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 they usually have cameras like that. It's, you know, because a building is, you know, it's attached to a building, and it's videotaping the scene. So please let me know, people. Please let me know if you know anything like this, uh, a park of something and some type of, of stone. And I, I, I'm pretty sure it's a monument, something that signifies something. And the pre-monument that I saw, you know, the monument that I saw prior to seeing the, the lady and the little, what looks like a little child, uh, was up close that I saw, but it wasn't the same one. I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty sure it wasn't the same thing because it, it di different shape. Different shape, in in my opinion. I, again, I could be wrong. Um, yeah, yeah, it was a different shape. But very interesting. See, um, this world. You, you, the human brain is amazing. If I only really knew how to use it. Yeah. Um, to be able to use this, so, you know, I, I'm tired of getting, I'm, I'm an emotional person. I'm, I'm a really, really, um, I'm sensitive. I have a, a sensitive heart. I've always been a sensitive child. And I'm still a sensitive, um, sensitive adult. Um, and seeing what the world is doing today with uh, the election and the COVID, I, I feel things deeply. I'm concerned. I, I, I'm a pretty much a free bird. I, uh, I don't want to get caught up in isms. I want to just enjoy life, people. 
because in everything you could have all the riches in the world. Now I like I like I like nice things. Don't get me wrong. I like quality things, quality uh, things in my home. And when I buy things and I think it's quality and it's it falls apart, I just want to throw it out immediately. I like qua- I like things that are durable. Quality does not mean price, but oftentimes quality things cost. So I'm not going to say I don't like quality things. I love quality things. I like things that are durable, things that do what it's made to do. And so um, I, I want those things in my life as a tool, but not something to be worshipped. See, we're worshipping things. We may even start to worship people. And we live in lack, many of us. I know I had. Yes, I, I, I lived in lackness growing up. I, everything was uh, about what I don't have. I felt the spirit of lack. But no, don't feel that way. Because when you have you, people, you have everything. And what do I mean? Because, see, I'm seeing all these things that exists somewhere in this world, that the human brain is more powerful than anything, if we only knew how to really use it. See, we, we become disconnected. We are becoming so disconnected from ourselves, our bodies. What it can do, because, see, we're sitting behind a screen all day, and it's hypnotizing. And I say this to myself, too, because I've been on YouTube, folks, watching, watching video after video after video. But it's like I'm searching, searching, searching. I need to search within myself and to tap onto my innate power. We all have innate power, but we are so... Uh, disconnected about our true power and abilities, that we get caught up in the isms, racism, sexism, uh, xenophobic. So we all live in this fear, fear that we're going to lose something physical. And this all could be just an illusion, people. An illusion. Some even say a computer-generated thing. How is that I'm able to see different things and to see the symbols because it is uh, composed of something, a computer code. And the scientists have seen the universe is written in the same computer code as a database. Did you hear about that? His name is uh, Professor Gates. I forget his first name. But this Mr. Gates, he's a professor at a, a university. He is a, a physicist. And this physicist um, tapped into the, to, to examine a massive universe and saw computer codes. It was written in computer codes, the universe. And he said, this is a, we're part of a simulation. You know, I agree. This is all a simulation. And I'm thinking that people, those little floater things that I, that I said I saw early to, earlier today, Kind of like, uh, like a ball-like shape, you know, or you know, uh, a semi-round shape. These spiky things. I think those things are in charge of what I'm seeing. Something I I strongly believe. 
because they keep popping up these those I call them spiky things because they, they you just see little skinny branches, little squiggy, like like you know like palm or uh, a pine tree. They have like skinny little branches, and then you see the little spiky thing. Oh, that's my phone. You hear in the background? Wow. <laughs> you hear that? Wow. It sounds neat. <laughs> it must be outside. Yeah, that must be... Um, well, I have to... I, I think that's someone... Um, well, I have to find out who that was. Did you hear that? Oh well, yeah. So I have to get see who's on, uh, who came on, because uh, oh, that's interesting. It hasn't done that before. Yeah. So anyway, um, yeah. What I was saying that um, circle-like shape, um, spiky thing. They seem to be fl floaters. They they go, they go around. And they're always around something that I'm going to see. And I believe that those things oversee or manage the things that I see. And that I'm not, get this, um, I'm not supposed to be seeing what I'm seeing. I'm not supposed to see what I'm seeing. And they're there managing, like, like the movie The Matrix, people, people, like the movie The Matrix. Remember the movie The Matrix that came out in 1999? Remember, they, they had things that, that would fly about. They, 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 they in the movie The Matrix looked like a, like a robot, like a, like a, uh, um, had long arms, but but what I'm seeing is something else. But I believe it's the same type of thing. Something that manages the area. And I'm seeing it. And, and, and I believe it doesn't want me to see. They manage it. And that those little spiky things, think of them as antennas. Right? Like antenna, they 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 send out waves. Cause you look at an antenna. It's something long, and and you know that 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 it's branched out like that. Because it's 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 to better. It to receive and to send out transmission. It's a transmission inhibitor, I believe. It's a transmission inhibitor. It doesn't want me to see. And when I block, get into their, their headquarters, when I tap onto their headquarters, they, they're alerted. And they don't want me to see. They don't want me to see. Really interesting people. Man, isn't this interesting? Just this, the topic. See, these people in Hollywood, they do a lot of stuff. They, um, they could, they, 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 um, they do things, you know, they take chemicals, a lot of these guys, uh, they, they're initiates into activities, right? They do stuff. And so they can tap into things. Right, and so they, when they get a clue about something, they make a movie about it. Right, remember the movie that came out in the in the nineteen eighties? They live. Hello, people. Hello. They're telling you things. So something is interfering. Something has the power to interfere with the my ability to see certain things. And they come about. Yeah, and I recently told you about the. It might it might have been a month ago. And it was a man getting zapped. That was that long cylinder. 
um, about a, maybe a foot in diameter. And this time there was a, a, a man lying below this um, cylinder-shaped device. And it had a ring below it. And uh, first time I ever saw a person lying below it. And it was in like an, a bunched up shade, like his, his knees, his legs were bunched up to his, his chest, like he's trying to protect himself. And then the light came on. A bright light came out of the device and hit the guy. Yeah, my, 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 my perception exactly. Because I've seen that cylinder device in other, other visions. But I never saw it actually come, you know, the light come on, whatever. I, again, I didn't know what type of thing would come out from it. But my, my impression, this is something that zaps, <laughs> zaps you because it's aiming at you. Like, like in a dentist's office, remember the old-fashioned dentist thing that, that takes a, an x-ray? And it's at like a nozzle, and then they aim it at your jaw to take x-rays. So I knew it had to do something um, that something came out from it, like radiation or something. something. So I'm tapping into something that I believe I'm not supposed to have access to. But we can all do this. We can all do this. So, I mean, I'm, I'm just a, a regular person. I do not do drugs. I eat uh, clean food. I, I, and I shared with you that I've been eating a one meal a day in the evening. Yeah, I try to drink, drink my, my liquids, my water in the daytime. I take my supplements, you know, you, you're eating less food, you know, you make sure you have your nutrients, people. You better eat your nutrients, you know, your supplements, if you're going to eat less. Um, yeah, as you get older, people, you need less calories because your body runs more efficient. You need less calories, but you need nutrients because we're not able to absorb as efficiently. So you definitely need your supplements uh, to make sure you get your your nutrients, your your minerals in particular. Don't forget the magnesium. Yeah, magnesium. Your your body, um, it's metabolical pro process. Your, your what do you call it? Your um, energy production. The the like the um, oh what's it? The Krebs cycle. See, I forgot a lot of my uh, biochemistry. <laughs> yeah. Um, but the, the, the steps required for the process of, of, of digestion or the, the energy production requires magnesium. So if you don't have enough magnesium, you, you cannot run those basic uh, processes in your body. You know, so you're going to feel sluggish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so I noticed that um, I've been doing it now for a little over two weeks the one meal a day, slight modification. Uh, when I first initially started for the first two weeks, uh, I had the, the elixir in the morning on empty stomach, and then in the evening, my meal, my full meal. But now um, I'm take, I take my, uh, my, my vitamins and stuff with my meal in the evening. Um, and I, I feel I, I have more energy. I, yeah, I have more and more like go get it, you know, more, more awake. And I feel that possibly it's enhancing, at least it's making me see many, many little visions in the morning rather than just one or two. I'm seeing a lot of things, but it's happening so quickly. And the recall, yeah, I need help with recall. So that's what's happening. Um, yeah. So you too could do, you know, if health, if you're he if if you're healthy, you know, if 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 your doctor says it's okay to modify your diet, you know, hey, maybe you can do the same thing, you know. Um, 
if your doctor says that it's okay to, you know, modify your doc, your, your, your diet, to eat your meals um, in the, in the, yeah, I eat my meals that between 4 p.m. and 5 p.m. And uh, drinking my fluids, you can have your teas, your herbal teas, you know, be, you know, have a, have a, you know, when you eat your meals, have a full meal. Um, not natural food, you know, uh, I do eat uh, eggs. I had a steak the other day. Yeah, eat, 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 eat food that it tastes good to you. Uh, you can have your veggies with it also, you know. Um, yeah, a, a full meal. And man, you know, I, I have more clarity now. I'm more, I, I feel more eager to do physical things. I, I even started cleaning my house. <laughs> yeah, a little joke there, but that's true. I dusted. I dusted, I vacuumed. I cleaned the bathroom yesterday. Yeah, I feel so proud of myself. Because sometimes you just don't want to do a damn thing in your place. <laughs> hey, right, I'm being real. See, I'm, I'm no different than you. I'm no different than you people. And see, I share this information again, I say this, that see, the world at large wants you preoccupied with all this foolishness. It's foolishness what's happening. Foolery. And I live in New York City, one of, a, a very large city, and people are just acting cuckoo because of fear. And I start to get fearful too. Because I'm very, I'm a very, I think I'm an empath. I think I'm an empath. And I'm here in this world more as an observer of life. I feel like this is the first time I'm on this planet. It sounds weird to say that, but I feel so removed from people. You know, that like I'm an observer from another world, and I just don't understand people. And this feeling started, um, this haze started, I was, um, I thought it was kindergarten. But I looked at my school record, it says first grade. I remember it being kindergarten because the door said kindergarten. But either way, kindergarten, first grade, that's when whatever would happen, happened to me. And I've been in like in a haze ever since. Like, what am I doing here? And, I, and, and I'm, so I'm, I'm about six years old. Yeah, I'm six years old at this time. I'm pretty sure I was six years old at the time. Because that's also when I lost my front teeth. Don't worry, folks, it grew back. <laughs> yeah, I was six years old. And I didn't understand what was going on, what I was seeing. And um, to this day, I have no understanding of what happened to me. Just one day I was in the classroom, and I said, I don't know what these things are. I don't, I don't understand why I'm here. And I was in another school prior to that, uh, like, a, like a nursery school or kindergarten. Yeah, I, I started school like everybody else. Because the school, re yeah, I ordered my school records. It took a couple of months. Yeah, you can order people your entire school record from kindergarten or to, to high school. Yeah, do so. Do so, people. That's my homework assignment for you. If you got this far on the, uh, this video, do so. You write a letter to your, your Department of Education, um, Ladies, you know, because most, you know, usually, you know, when ladies marry or whatever, you know, they change your name. You write your your full name at the time, you know, when you're in school. You have to send a, like a copy of like a like, like your driver's license you know, to prove who you are. Let's say you had a legal name change, have the the doc, the copy of the documents of your legal name change, and uh, your like a driver's license to to show that you are who you are. Okay. So let's say your name was Jane, Jane Doe back then, you know, uh, but your name is Jane Smith now. 
have the documents to show your current name and that your name was such and such and you indicate your, your social security number. You know, that's what I had to do. That's why I'm saying this. And mail it off, certified return receipt to your Board of Education. The people who charge of your educational system, whatever what state you're from or city, who's in charge of it, do so. And read your file. That is your personal file. And the elementary school that I went to deceived me. She says, oh, we don't keep them. The wreck is after 10 years and uh, we discard it. No, they don't discard it. It is sent to uh, some type of place that has all your work. And people, I'm in my 50s, okay? I'm in my 50s. Your records follow you everywhere you go on, uh, in uh, the country you live in. They know more about you than you know yourself. You get a copy of your birth, your, 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 your school records. It is um, your right to your file, Freedom of Information Act, FOIA. It's called FOIA, F-O-I-A, Freedom of Information Act. You get your records and learn more about you. Learn about you. They know you. Why can't you know yourself? Do so. That is my homework assignment for you. And you'll discover and you'll help and you will start to understand why people treated you the way they did. Okay? Yeah, it's a system that doesn't want you to know yourself. They're preoccupied in showing you racism, sexism, hatred, and all that. And you start to believe the lie. And you're not tapping into your own psyche. Yeah. Yeah, there's things out there. And they don't want you to see. And that thing, I think it's something that, uh, that, that little spiky thing, it's, it's something to interfere with what you're seeing. Do so. I mean, um, try the, the meditation thing. It's real easy. You wake up, keep, you wake up in the morning, keep your eyes closed, just lie there in bed and, and st steer forward. Look forward at your eyelids that are closed. And you'll, you too will start to see something. Yeah. So I thank you. I, I've been on longer than I thought I would be. I thought this was going to be a very short video, but I see I'm over, or oh, I'm at an hour already. So I thank you all for listening and watching. And uh, each one teach one. And uh, please, uh, you know, let's get aware, people. Let's let's find out. Let's dig deep. Dig deep because <laughs> these people know more about you. And that's why they're able to manipulate you. That's why they're able to manipulate me and make me feel the way I do. Well, I thank you again. Peace, love, and joy to you all. I got to get ready to, get, to go out. <laughs> okay, folks, I thank you for watching. Bye-bye.